What does it mean to be me? Anybody know? Anybody want to gather against this morning? Y'all did pretty good with it. Hmm? Compassion. 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 Humble again. I think that's the, the Greek sense of the word there. But let's look at those that are humble. They don't think highly more of themselves. But you know you're in a proper place in life. And you know how things fit together. Blessed are the humble. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Righteousness. Living life according to the will of God. But in order to do that, you not only have to be a student of that, you also have to practice that. And you have to practice it with zeal and with passion. <clears throat> not to give it to about two minutes a day. To be a student for righteousness is more than just reading the scriptures for 15 minutes. It is, it is actually putting righteousness in practice. And it sometimes it will mean, and here's the hard stuff, living a life of righteousness and trying to seek that may put us also beyond our comfort zones because it's going to push us to places we don't want to go because we do not want to give up certain things. Lifestyle choices. Decisions that we made about living our lives that we know that if we looked at the biblical text and we tried to balance that with what we're doing today, we know would be wrong. In our society pretty much today, it's come to the point of we lift up the word tolerance and we choose tolerance to be accepting of everything now. We just, just say, well, how we put it is it's your lifestyle choice, whatever it might be. And we say it's okay. And in the context of, of the political sense of the United States, that's one thing, but in the context of biblical living, of living as a Christian, then that is going to run counter from time to time of what the Bible tells us and what the church teaches. And so the hunger and thirst for righteousness is not just to speak the words and talk about peace and justice, but it also means that we have to start with ourselves. And in those places in our lives, when we know that we're acting in contrary to God's will, in order to be right with God, we need to fix it. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. That's one of those things, I'll be a little political in a minute, I think they need to be hanging that in the halls of every political agency in the country and in the world now. Because we don't practice mercy in anything anymore. 